You're up early. I can sleep. Mm -hmm. I had indigestion. Has nothing to do with a guilty conscience, if that's what you're implying. Crepes. Back off, Niles. I said I would punish the kid. What else do you want? Dare I suggest syrup? Oh, what's with the third degree? I tried to tell him the man doesn't listen. Everything I say goes in one ear and out the other. Good morning, Miss Fine. I've been thinking about what you said. What? What did I say? About spending more time with the children. Yeah, see, I've already started. <laughs> children, we are going to the carnival. All of us? Mm-hmm, the whole family. We're gonna go on the rides, we're gonna eat cotton candy. It'll be like being a child again. <laughs> and it'll give me a chance to talk to Brighton's headmaster, see what he's been up to. Oops. These things can get so sticky. Uh, you know, I kind of soured on that whole carnival thing. It's so cold and windy. It's in the gymnasium. It's hot and stuffy. It's fine. I've just rearranged my entire schedule, and now you're telling me you don't want to go? Well, I'm not God. I don't make the weather. <laughs> but you insisted. I wasn't feeling 100% that day. I think I was ovulating. Your eggs, sir. Uh... <laughs> well, you may stay at home, but we are going. Do something. OK, I'll do what I should have done in the first place. Here, here. Here. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Sheffield, I think there's something you should know. Brighton? We don't care that you're on parole. Everyone deserves a second chance. <laughs> Fine, I'll tell him. Uh, Mr. Sheffield, when we go to the carnival, uh, the headmaster may mention something about Brighton smoking, but he's quit and he's sorry, and there's really nothing for you to worry about. Niles, these crepes are divine. And so white. My mother makes a blend like a double for a mattress. <laughs> Girls, you may be excused. Not you, Miss Fine. <laughs> smoking, Brighton. I, I can't believe this. What, what on earth possessed you to do this? Are you through here? That's beginning to look that way. <laughs> well, I'm waiting, young man. What have you got to say for yourself? I didn't inhale. <laughs> that is the most pathetically lame excuse I've ever heard. <laughs> Go to your room. Not you, Miss Fine. Oh, Mr. Sheffield. I think there's something you should know. Well, I'll say. Why wasn't I told about this? Well, I tried to tell you. You told me to take care of it. I didn't know what the problem was. Because you wouldn't listen. Because you didn't tell me it was anything like this. Oh, well, it's pointless to continue this discussion. You had chocolate cake yesterday. What's that bloody well got to do with anything? Low blood sugar. You're completely irrational. I'm irrational, me. Yes. You're the one twisting everything around. Oh, so now I'm twisting. You are the most exasperating, infuriating. I think I just had a small stroke. <laughs> Does that mean we're not going to the carnival? Miss Fine. Well, it's very easy for you to find fault. You're off all day with your glamorous theater people. I'm stuck at home working like a dog raising the kids. You're the nanny. It's your job. Well, you're the father. It's your job, too, Mr. Sheffield, sir. <laughs> just go to your room. Yes, you. Can you believe he sent me to my room? He is so adorable sometimes. <laughs>